I'm Gina, I'm a dental hygienist, and you're watching Burst TV. Today, we'll be talking about, da 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 da, drum roll please, everybody's favorite drink, LaCroix. Mmm, that cold, refreshing, fizzy feeling. I'm gonna be honest with you, I drink at least one of these almost daily, and I have a lot of patients and friends who ask me, but is it gonna ruin my teeth if I drink it all day long? Because a lot of people do. So I decided to do a little experiment and I'm gonna find out for you guys. As a dental professional, this is why I love LaCroix. It has minimal ingredients, no sugar, no carbs, which are usually the biggest red flags when it comes to a drink. How Ever, there is one other ingredient that most people don't know could cause damage to tooth enamel and that ingredient is carbonic acid. A quick side lesson on how tooth decay forms. Well first you have to have a tooth and you have to have sugars or you have to have carbohydrates and also bacteria to break down those ingredients and when bacteria breaks down the food you eat it creates an acidic environment in your mouth and during that time, your teeth are more susceptible to getting a cavity. And if you're constantly throughout the day eating or sipping on something sugary, sticky, or acidic, your teeth will eventually start breaking down and you'll get tooth decay or you'll get enamel erosion over time. And if that's not something you're familiar with, enamel erosion is a condition where your enamel starts wearing away slowly. Not ideal. Enamel erosion can cause sensitivity and it can make your teeth have a more yellow appearance. So let's get back to the reason why you're watching this video. You want to find out if LaCroix will ruin your teeth. And so I've set up a little experiment and I thought I'd test out a few popular drinks. So come with me and let's get started. So I'm here in my kitchen and I've got a few options. I've got our original LaCroix. I've got a grapefruit Spindrift sparkling water, which we already know will probably be worse for your teeth because it has natural fruit juice, which is acidic. We've got a Bud Light hard seltzer, um, which is alcohol, a kombucha, which is great for your gut, but this one we already know has about 12 grams of sugar included, yeah, 12 grams of added sugar, and um, total carbs is 15 grams and then water to round it out. So the way that we're gonna test these is through a little pH strip here. These strips will give us information about the acidity levels of each of these drinks. So basically, they show us a level from one to 14, a pH level of seven is neutral, above seven is alkaline, and a pH level below seven is acidic. So that's what we're looking for with these drinks. As far as our teeth go, studies have shown that a constant exposure to foods and drinks that lower our pH below 5.5 over time can cause enamel erosion and tooth decay. So what does this mean really? If you're exposing your teeth to acidic, sugary foods, and drinks all day long without letting your saliva get your pH levels back to neutral, you're at a higher risk for tooth decay. We have a saying in dentistry, sip all day, get decay. And that's mainly sipping on drinks other than water. So the way that I'm gonna go ahead and test these drinks is with the pH strips I've laid out below that each correspond to um, their drink. And all I'll have to do is just pour a small amount of liquid on each of these strips and within 15 seconds we will have the pH value and um, just for reference my pH strip there's a color coded sheet with the pH number it corresponds with and we should know in about 15 seconds so let's go ahead and pour a teeny amount on each one here The water here is already showing up as close to green. Let's see if you can actually see here. So, kind of hard to tell, but this is a pH of seven, it corresponds pretty well with that. Next, we have the kombucha, kind of a light orange, and that corresponds probably with around a four maybe. 
maybe the three, but probably closer to four. Then after that, we've got the uh, Bud Light. This one, about the same, more orange than yellow. So closer to yellow is a six, and closer to orange is more like a four. So that was the seltzer. And then the Spindrift here is also very orange. <laughs> So kind of in the in the four four to five range. And then the last one we have is the LaCroix. This one kind of got a little bit distorted. But it's kind of a you know, definitely more of a yellow, yellow towards green. Definitely more than the Spindrift here, you can see the difference. So orange is a lower pH and yellow towards green is more of a higher towards a six and a seven. So these aren't, you know, completely perfectly accurate. We don't know the exact, exact pH, but it's enough to basically know that, you know, if anything is below a six, you probably should not be sipping on it all day just to be safe, in my opinion, as a dental professional. You can cause tooth decay over time, you can cause erosion over time, and really the best drink that you can have throughout the day is water to be able to protect your teeth. This is not to say that you can never enjoy a tasty Spindrift or even the alcoholic seltzer, uh, Limoncello LaCroix. You can enjoy all of these drinks. Just make sure you're not sipping all day long. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if there's anybody else that might enjoy this video, please send it their way and please subscribe to Burst TV to learn more and see more videos like this. Thanks again.